Okay, we'll come back to Sons of the Forest. We are today testing a new... T well, basically we're testing defensive walls and fences of different kinds. Uh, a little bit more advanced than your average electric fence. So on this side, I've tried this already, but uh, I want to see how much damage this can take. Right, so it's an electric fence and we have a finger. Oh well, I'm going to take care of it, but I want to explain first. This is the electric fence and it's on a platform with a roof above it. So they they can't use the... Um... Oh, for God's sakes. Sort off. Bloody hell. More of you. Oh shit, there's another one. Ah, I think you've seen this in an earlier video. This, I still believe in this, although not for blue puffies. Not when you're standing on top, the bosses jump too much. Uh, the second version is my... My uh, little um, heightened fence. Use this bench fence, right? And you put an electric fence on top. This is especially good if you have... Uh, when you can, if you have a place where you can't place the regular electric fence, it's somewhat troublesome, as we may have noticed. All of us, uh, you do this, you can actually place it on rocks and uneven ground and stuff, and it becomes a little bit higher. And the theory is that they rarely hit this low, so this will keep. They won't hit the lower fence. Right, final test. Well, the other one is the stone wall. This is an unsupported stone wall, just as is. I'm later going to try it also with supports, kind of like this. Oops. I forgot that one. And, damn it, I also forgot putting struts in. Right. So, first try, we, um, we had some puffies. Blue puffies. And uh, she tried to jump, that didn't work. Oh, she knocked the wire off. They do that. Um, really? Downside of the electric fence is that, well, puffies certainly, fingers certainly will knock the wire off. So if you want to stay safe, you need to be quick and have extra wire to, to rewire the fence. Uh, this idea with a platform above well, I've tried it in a different video and it didn't really work that well, but I wanted to do, try this scientifically and they kind of knock the roof down. They can't jump over, but... Hold on. Did I hear... I heard shots. Oh, come on. Seriously? I'm in an experiment here, guys. Bugger off. Okay. I need to deal with these guys. Bye-bye. And you... Bye. Virginia, go and do your job. Go, never mind my puffies. So here we are, and they are. Any more? Any others? No? Okay, they're really not doing anything. But as you can see, the other, the, the higher fence, they're not really trying to jump over. Well, they're not, honestly, not trying to jump over this one either. They're not very jumpy when you are on the same level as they are. Just one tried it. Right, Virginia added it. So we're trying now with puff, with uh, fingers instead because they will always aggressively go towards the uh, the player rather than the the uh, the structures. Although they seem to be wanting to go out towards the sea, the higher fence. But they're not. They they have a tendency to be able to climb the fences as well, and they don't. Oh uh, well, yeah. Okay, so this idea was not ideal. They they really knocked everything down. I'm I'm starting to think this is not a good idea. You want the fence further away from the platform, um, or something, or spikes, maybe spikes and or another electric fence on top of the platform. But they seem to be just knock it down. They're really liking this corner where there's a small opening, but uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, I need to rewire that to. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, knock this off too. So, I mean, we have had five blue puffies and ten fingers playing here, so that's a lot of hits. 
but you need to maintain the fence. Okay, they're all dead. Wonderful. They really screwed up my platform, didn't they? Okay, let's let's try the walls. Ten new fingers. See the log wall, how that works out. Um, <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. There's only one interested in me. It's just one taking swipes at me. Doesn't seem to get through, though. Right, and he's taking swipes. All the other ones just, you know, while well, they're knocking a little bit on the wall and trying to get down to the beach. Fingers are such beach bumps. Yes, want to go surfing all the time. Uh, oh, well, he's knocking off little bits and pieces. He's had a lot of swipes, so... Oh, okay. Well, clearly you, you can't kind of leave this kind of wall unattended. You need to kill them. But it, yeah, well, it, it worked on it for a while at least. Um, okay, yeah, he's coming out. This... Um, and all the other ones just buzzing the fence. Yeah. Well, it's a bit... This was a bit of a mistake, so clearly that will not work. That sort of wall needs to be seriously strengthened. I think that surprises no one. Doesn't really have that much strength in it. Uh, will you? Uh, this is just way too messy. I need to. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll reload this and uh, have another go. No. Yes. Go on. Quit. Thank you. Okay, another ten puffies. Let's see how this works. Let's try the, the log wall, see if they attack me a little bit better here. Here they come. Uh, they don't seem to be able to hit me through. Oh, we did lose a stone there at some point. But, I mean, we have a bunch of puffies working these, and, and they're, they're pretty strong. I didn't see a stone fall down. Oh, it was the... I think it was a strut. Come on, boys. Do your magic. Hmm. Let's see. Still pretty strong. It's holding up. They're doing serious bashing of this wall and they haven't gone through. I mean, it, it took one puffy, maybe ten or ten swings for it to break down the log wall, regular log wall. And uh, they're not really doing any damage on this one. I think we've lost one stone so far. As you can see, it's pretty bloody strong. Ah, uh, this is... Um, I see the rock wall is like 5,000 to begin with, and it's knocking off maybe 30, 40 points. Anyway, let's uh, let's go wild. Let's go with uh, John 2's. Oh, he broke my... F oh, no, he broke my that fence. Okay, let's see if we... Try the walls here. Okay, I'm speeding this up because it's really annoying that... I mean, you don't want to watch it all the time. Okay, more Puffy. No, more Johns. Let's see how they can... They will try to get them to this wall. We are working really fast here. And we add some more. Oh, yep, here we go. More John 2s. We're up to 15 John 2s working on, on my fences right now. Uh, this was a little bit. This was a little bit messy, and he's really working it. So I'm, I'm standing inside in the corner. I did an extra electric fence in here just to see if they they could kind of get damaged by standing between the wall and the fence. So I had a few RMCs just to have fun. And I'm I'm super speeding this because it's going to be hours of getting a wash of this. I really want to destroy these walls. Getting a bit stressed. I'm getting a bit stressed out, certainly. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the last ones. Okay, so here we are. Final result. This was about 20 fingers, 15 John 2s, and I don't know how many armsies, but, you know, 10. I think I reloaded them 5 times 2. So it's a bit of a mess, but as you can see, the log wall did not last very long. Uh, this wouldn't work even with um, 
with a, a, an extra fence behind it, it didn't work too well. This part did not work at all. They completely trashed it. Uh, quite early on, in fact. One or two fingers, they start knocking it down. Same with blue puffies. Uh, as you can see, I did that extra fence along the wall just to see if I could give it a little bit more protection. Uh, it didn't. Once they got in, they just knocked it down. And of course, well, the... Uh, the bloody arm sea uh, I mean the uh, the John 2's the caterpillars just destroy everything but the fence kills them though it really does kill them which is interesting I tried to see if I, if I got it close enough this is maybe half a section fence section between the the wall and the uh, and the fence and there we go thank you and uh, yeah, I try to, well, I do get buzzed when I go in there, but it doesn't seem to be working that well. And I'm a little bit afraid they will actually jump, stand on the fence, and then jump over the wall. But this is uh, this is really tricky. This is how you can do that. I'll show you that how to do that fence later. Anyway, so that's it. Um, and as you can see, we have a winner. Almost. Log wall did not really cut it at all. My little uh, idea that with a fence and a second story did not really work all too well. The stone wall took serious damage, but it's still standing. And mind you, there's there was a lot of damage to these things. Really, shitloads of damage and. Um, yeah, this this bench fence it, it worked quite well. I didn't see anything actually going over it, and uh, eventually the John twos knocked it down, but nothing else did. So building it on the, uh, the bench fence, I think I think it's called like deck railing or something. Good thing is you can build electric fences in places where you normally can't using that technique. So that's it. Okay, just quickly how to make a electric fence inside a wall. This little addition is not great, but uh, you start simply by making a platform. Well, you have your platform, obviously, and you make the fence as usual. It's very important you do this in the right order. So you make little, your little fence, and then you make sure you do not place the, uh, the horizontal part of the fence. There you go, fence, and now you just leave that alone. Wait, oh, well, you can actually place the rocks, but this is just to show. And then you need to do this before, right? Then you place your vertical posts like so. Once those are in place, you can finish your fence. It looks kind of neat. But it's a little bit tricky if you happen to uh, get it damaged. It's a little bit tricky to to reconfigure. If the uh, if the posts are damaged, then the fence posts inside those vertical logs will um, will be damaged too, and you have to like take everything down to repair it. Let's see if we destroy this, and hopefully I didn't screw up too much. And if you're lucky, let me get my uh, sticks out. It's helpful. Yeah, it's still in there in the post, so you can you can repair it that way. Then then it's usually fine. Yeah, then you can repair it. See, it's still there. Yeah, that works quite nicely. Uh, it looks pretty. It might be tricky to repair if it's damaged. And. Um, Downside, of course, is that whatever is attacking you will also knock the uh, the pillars down, the horizontal posts. I have no idea what I'm doing now. I'm trying to knock things down. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Uh, but you need to remove the posts uh, or the um, the pillar to be able to repair that fence. Well, that's it. Bye bye.